I cannot understand why the government of Canada and the province cannot give a full commitment to build a treatment center for our citizens, our, our community. Um, as you know, um, mercury poisoning uh, continues to this very day. Uh, according to an industry report um, commissioned by Damtar, um, they found, they've said that uh, they still saw mercury in the soil. And uh, so <clears throat> I know the uh, Premier Wynne and her government uh, are very supportive for the uh, the cleanup of the river. river. They've um, announced $85 million uh, for the cleanup of the river. However, this is only the the, uh, the mercury that's historically been spilled originally. But however, uh, it seems that that there's still uh, a source of uh, mercury that's still leaking into the river system. And it's going to affect our uh, generations, generations of our people, um, even the children that are not born, uh, will continue to suffer from mercury exposure. And um, my cousin, my brother, um, Steve uh, Forbester Sr., who was former chief, and our community and also Grand Chief of Treaty 3 uh, is suffering terribly now. Uh, to a point where he is disabled. And this is the Minister Zimmer um, had indicated uh, some time ago that uh, they were going to build this treatment center. And this was about four years ago now. And it's like this, uh, <clears throat> it's just like this, uh, you know, when a dog chases his tail around, around and around, but never catches up to his tail. And this is what's been happening, you know, with our demand for this Mercury Home and Treatment Center. We've just been going around and around and around and and nothing's happened so far